What's going on guys? Austin FFA here or Luna. So I have a video today that people have been requesting way too much in the comments and it's finally time to make it. So this is a life story that I have, uh, I said I was going to tell and people were so eager when I said I was going to tell it that they like literally commented every video. They're like, oh my God, do the story about your friend, blah, blah, blah. And it's time. So I hope you enjoy this and let's get into it. So, um, this took place a couple months before the offered lace weed story. Um, and that's the reason I brought it up in that story. And it was pretty fucking bad. Like, I'm not going to lie. I don't know the exact, like... See, I wasn't really there when he did it, but I was around. So, I, like, kind of know. So, I'm going to get into it. Um, This kid was one of my greatest friends. Like, I, I, I've i known this kid for a while. Um, He's not one of those people that you've known for, like, years upon years. And that's why he's a good friend. He's one of those people that you meet. And he's just really down to earth. He's a really good kid, and you can get along with him no matter what. So, one particular day, um, we met up, me and him, and we were walking around. There, I live in like where I live basically is just kind of like a bunch of areas where you can walk around rather than uh, bike. So we we met up and we were hanging out, just me and him, and we planned on later that night meeting other people, and. Yeah, that's what our plan was. We were just going to walk around the town for like a good hour or so and then end up meeting up with other people because we knew other people were going to be around. So that's what we did. We walked around the town. Um, we went over to the grocery store and got food and then we went and met up with these people. And the people that I was with were uh, a lot of the same kids from the Alfred Lay Sweet story, but some of them were different. So um, basically, I think there was in, in total me, my friend, and then like four other people. And one of the kids was the same person from Alfred Laced Weed. He's the kid that smokes Laced Weed. I don't fucking like him um, just because of this reason. And before this, we really didn't like... Before this, we knew that like he was into other, st like, in, in, into, uh, other stuff. But we didn't know that he was like uh, actually like willing to ruin people over it and give them Laced Weed. So... Um, well, I don't know what was in the weed. Um, I think my friend has a good idea, but he wouldn't tell me because he's embarrassed. I feel awful for the kid, but um, anyway, I'm going to tell you how this happened. So we were in the base. The, there's a there's a park that we go to. I've talked about it before, but um, by the park, there's a abandoned building with a parking lot in the back where uh, you can go behind this dumpster. And that's where a lot of the really shady kids hang out. I don't know fucking why they decide to go behind a dumpster rather than just sit in the nice park and smoke. But uh yeah, it's, it's really secluded off with trees and stuff like that, so that's where they went, and I said I was going to stay in the park, and they were just like, okay, whatever, so they went, and the people who went were one of my good friends, uh, the, the, the kid, one of my good friends, and then the kid who smokes lace weed, and then another of the friend group that I really don't know too well, so basically, <laughs> they went to the dumpster, and I was stuck there with like, I don't know, a couple people, and we were just kind of sitting here at the park on the swings, and I think we just started making conversation. Um, my one friend quit weed at the time, so I remember we were talking about why he quit weed, and uh, we were just kind of having a conversation like we always would do, and it was like 30 minutes. They didn't come back for like 30 minutes. They said they were just going to smoke a bowl, and I was like, why are they taking so long? Um, and they came back, and let me tell you, my friend had the weirdest fucking look on his face. I'm not like... He wasn't, like, freaked out, but he was really fucking, like, I, I don't know, man. He just, he looked like he just did some next level shit. So, he came out, gave me a really weird look, and we actually ended up hanging out for the rest of the 20 minutes. And throughout the rest of the 20 minutes, my friend didn't say shit. He was, like, completely fucked. Like, I, he, he could talk. I asked him a question, and he, he talked, but um, he was just really, like, off his ass. And I was like, wow, he must be really high. So... Um, the, the, uh, the other two people were the same way, only the one was actually talking a lot, and he was, like, saying weird shit, like, he was, he, like, at one point, he wasn't talking for, like, five minutes, and he leaned back, and, like, he was, like, oh, yeah, I was, like, what, he's, like, I'm so stoned, man, I'm, like, numb, I'm, like, you're numb, he's, like, yeah, man, everything's numb, and I was, like, that's weird, he's, like, yeah, dude, yeah, and I was, like, what the fuck, dude, like, what is, like, numb whatever whatever so i didn't, I didn't question it because you know some people get high differently or you know some people have h different highs so i ignored it um eventually we left that with um i said i was like you know what, i gotta get going so my friend came with me because he was gonna stay at my house that night and he told me he's like something was wrong with that weed and i was like what do you mean he's like something was wrong with it and i was like 
how do you know that? He's like, he was just hinting at weird, th- he was giving us weird hints that something was in it. I was like, why'd you keep smoking it then, dude? What do you mean? What, what's wrong? I got scared. I thought he, like, I, at that point, I knew what was going on. He's like, I don't know, dude. I feel like, I feel too high. I feel like I'm, you know, like I'm so fucking, like, he said euphoric. He's like, I feel so euphoric. Like, I'm so, I feel so good. And I know this isn't what I usually feel like. Something was in it. I was like, oh, fuck. And he's like, dude, I feel numb too. I can't feel my fingers. And it's, keep in mind, guys wasn't that cold out so he you know I he wouldn't have been numb he's like I can't feel my fingers like if you if you pinch me like pinch me right now so I pinched him on the arm he's like see I barely felt that I was like why what like dude this is fucking scaring me so he really freaked me out and um we had to go back home I had to chill with him the whole night we stayed up the entire night I was trying to like um you know hang out with him I was just trying to keep him calm down and eventually everything wore off but you know, that freaked me out, because I don't, I don't know what the fuck he smoked, like, we don't know, like, he, I think he knows, but he wasn't telling me, I, I asked him, I was like, what did you smoke, he's like, I don't know, man, but he, uh, I think he knows, and it sucks, um, so, what happened later was, his mom came and got him, and they actually ended up, he confessed everything, he ended up confessing everything to a drug counselor, he, uh, t- he told his mom, and his mom told the drug counselor at our school, it really fucking sucked, guys, um, he had to actually, they put him in a program, they fucking ruined him, dude, for like two months, he had to sit in a program, it was like rehab, they put this poor kid in rehab, when he wasn't even like, I feel so bad for him, but he said that he needed it, he said that he had like, he was claiming that he got hooked on it, and that could be true, so I don't know, but that really sucks, and that kid basically ruined his fucking, you know, to this day, people still look at him like he's a scumbag, they basically ruined my friend's life at school for no reason, and I feel really bad, but anyway, guys, that's the, that's the story. Basically, I don't like telling it. I had to ask him for permission. I asked him like, dude, I have a YouTube channel. Um, can I tell the story? He's like, go ahead. Just don't give names. And I didn't. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure you drop the like, hit the like button. Let's go for 1k likes. Always fucking hitting it. Seriously. Love you guys. Um, almost at 50k crazy. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever had weird weed before. I love you guys so much. Peace out.